All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elder bishops of the great millstone who teach and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings. Much love unto you, hopeful elect out there. Shalom unto you that are fighting <clears throat> for your salvation, that are staying in the spirit, that are staying diligent, and, uh, and, and listening and learning uh, uh, coming in these last days, man, when it can be. Um, detrimental to your life to do so shalom unto you all right and um with that intro sparks the the lesson itself now i have here the uh the tmz interview with kanye west this or, or yay okay and i guess he switched it up his now his name is now yay and um and what he's bringing to light all right and just to quickly speak on it he's bringing this conversation to light Okay, what conversation? The conversation of who who the real Jews are, what their real agenda is, and the spiritual implications of the things that happen in the society and by who is ran. Okay, now is this the fullness of the of the uh, of, of the conversation? No, the fullness, the hundred percent truth, is being taught by Great Millstone and the Hebrew Israelites. All right, but. The conversation is now hit a higher level of a platform with somebody like a, a yay. All right. Yeah, it's cool when Kendrick say it. It's cool when Kodak and whoever else is saying it. That's cool. But who now, uh, once it, the attention is out there, who's putting the edifying uh, 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 truth out there to the people? All right. And this is all going to lead to a to a detrimental situation to, to test everybody's faith. All right. But. Without further ado, I'm a, um I'm gonna play the video. Um, I, I guess the way to do this so you don't get struck or whatever is to play a little bit, pause a little bit. So Lord willing, that'll um I'll be able to do that throughout the video. Um, without further ado, here we go. Probably be a commercial. Honey, what do you think about that, bro? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think about Balenciaga dropping you? I ain't losing no money. They never paid me nothing. Basically. Okay. And we know that that the and he's gonna ask him also. These companies are dropping Kanye West because of his comments. Okay. And 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 his comment, if you haven't seen him, you can go look him up. There's another video. I gotta redo that one. But uh, his comments were supposed to be uh, anti-Semitic. All right. And so he said, how am I anti-Semitic when I'm a Jew? OK. And so that's something that he's pushing. Now, brothers was, was talking about it and laughing about the situation because he's done this in the nicest way possible. He, he's calling them out that they're not the only Jews out there. They're, they're not they're, that they're, they're not the Jews. They don't even call themselves the Jews. They call themselves Jewish. Which ish is a big topic itself, which I had a short video on that that didn't whatever, but we'll get into that. And brothers have done videos on that on that uh, suffix ish, but we're going back to this video. You know what I'm saying? The truth. You're the one that's signing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think that Adidas is next? And that's how this happens, man. When you're in, in legal trouble um, and you're in the entertainment industry and you're in that business, what happens, man? People counsel you. And they and he, he's in the process of being counseled, uh, uh, ca canceled, if I could say it right. Like, you know. And so <clears throat> him being counseled from from different groups when you make a, a an odd statement you know uh or or, cer or certain acts that you may do what these uh endorsement companies will do or these companies that you do business with will do is they'll cut your contract you breach the contract and they'll stop paying you and a lot of people right then let me grab the precept all right this is jeremiah chapter 2 verse 33 why trimest thou wait to seek love Therefore, has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Okay. Um, oh, another one before I break it down. Another one is uh, Ecclesiastes 7. 
Um, yeah. Surely oppression maketh, excuse me, Ecclesiastes 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. And so this devil's taking away the goodies to punish this man. And that's when most people will fold or trim their ways to seek love from this devil. Why do they do it? They do it so they can they can still make money. They do it so they don't have a bad light on them. Okay? They most people always wanna wanna change it up when, when they get in the hot seat. Somebody throw the the, the anti sim card out there, and what do you gotta do? Everybody gotta tighten up, shut up, and and that just checks everybody. Well, that's not what's, what's happening with Kanye, and it hasn't happened with the with the prophets. The prophets have still been prophesying against Amalek and these devils, man. Pure point blank. Okay, so so far this man is not trimming his way to seek love. Okay, let's keep going. But you got Johnny Depp's lawyer, so she got him off, right? Yeah, I think I think people just try to. Score, I think people just try to score points. You know what I'm saying? Like Maverick Carter had me go on a show just to say we took him off the show. Then I go on Drink Champs. Then they take it down the day when i was taken off the balenciaga site that was that was one of the most freeing days you know okay <clears throat> and this is a, a a situation that has to come to pass okay every everybody is gonna get checked and come down to that moment where you're gonna choose you're gonna stay with the beast and who is the beast okay if you haven't seen other videos about it it's NATO and the EU, but basically the Edomite ran uh, governments of the world system that they have set up. Okay, and and and, and those they run a, a government structure, they run a, a military structure, they run a, a a financial structure, and they're trying to push a NWO right now. Okay, and 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 to get all the way in it, they're gonna force you to 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 to, to choose to be with them or 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 not. And most people will fold in that moment. The two thirds of our people will, sh will will fold, man. And the nations will surely fold. Some will, will do it, will not fold and get persecuted. But it's the Israelites who the Most High is really concerned with. Because we have a God. And if we take that, 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 that MOTB, okay, which will become during the hour of temptation, we take that MOTB, yeah, man, we're, we're, we're claiming that the devil has uh, is, is our God. And not Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which are the true biblical, the true names of, the, of, of who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. All right. You know, we're, we're about making product that's twenty dollars, the best design in the world, and that's the reason why we have brought the head designer from Balenciaga, Demna, who's a great designer. That's why I brought him to the Gap in the first place, but they didn't allow that. Let's to get to the good parts. So many actors been bullied behind the scenes. So you even got people like Ari Emanuel. And I want to talk about the Jewish mm -hmm. comment. It's actually proven the exact point that I made. So many actors been bullied behind the scenes. So you even got people like Ari Emanuel asking people to not do business with me. That's how this town has been running for so, so long. They'll mute you. They'll try to mute you at all costs. We we got got all right. I'm going to go precept. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8, For we can do nothing against the truth before the truth. And this is bringing light to the truth. And if this is what Kanye's true agenda is under the Heavenly Father, is to, to, to use him as a mouthpiece to springboard this conversation about who's who, about the biblical uh, uh, identity of everybody, the truth, okay? Calling out different situations in the earth. So now, when you come to get these answers, man, there's only one real source you're going to have to come to, which is the mouthpiece of the Holy Father. All right? Um, but it says again, it says for you, it's for, uh, 2 Corinthians 13, verse 8, uh, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. And there was a, a phrase in the world, um, in, in, in the entertainment business, no pun intended, um, uh, uh, all, all, um, all news is good news. Okay. All news is good news, bad news, good news, whatever. All publicity is good publicity. I believe it is. So even when they throw negativity on you, it's still good publicity. 
because for all the people that are um that are counseling yay there's a lot more people standing up and agreeing with him okay this country is in a time of great divide man and the scriptures say that um when a house is divided against itself it shall not stand and that's in the gospels um but let me keep playing some of the video Hey, we are here to you, man. What'd you say? They can't cancel. Can't cancel but I mean, you, you, you definitely need remote control. Exactly, with yep. vessels. Yup, exactly. Man. So y'all still had a platform. God is on all our side. God yes. is Amen. alive. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. You know, so even He's though... He's a master controller. We're on remote control. Exactly, yep. with yep. vessels. Yup, exactly. Man. So y'all still and had a platform. This is the thing. Con 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 um, continuing the sentiment of what, what, what I'm talking about, Okay. The most hot matter of fact, let me get it. All right. This is uh, Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And whether this man, kind, uh, yay, understands what he's doing or not, what he's saying or not, what energy he's bringing in, the, in, in this country and in the earth or not, the Heavenly Father's agenda is being fulfilled. Okay. The Heavenly Father wants this conversation, wants to see a man brought to nothing. And, you know, I mean, we, we know this man probably sold his soul. He said he did. But if the Heavenly Father were to, to, to bring him to the truth, hey, cool. Cool. I'm with it. If, if this is the, the, the work of the Lord, whatever the Lord is with, I'm with. And if you don't, hey, cool. Whatever the Lord is with, I'm with. But, you know, we know the, 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 the problems that he's caused and created and selling his soul and putting out all that demonic music and so on and so forth. Not to say that he can't repent, but you know, we don't know the fullness of that situation. But the point being the heavenly father is using him to put out a certain uh, conversation. Now, whether it's drink chance, whether it's Pierce Morgan, you know, Lex uh, Freeman. Okay. All these situations are, are, are being brought to a to a head okay and eventually you're gonna have to go to the men of the lord let me grab that real quick um back in jeremiah chapter 3 15 it says and i will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding and that's the main point of this time coming in that there will be Men on the earth that you will be able to be built up in, 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 the, in the understanding of the scriptures to see what's going on in these days, man. OK, this conversation will introduce you to 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 uh, to the to the Jews that, that are, are, are dark skinned. Matter of fact, let me get it now because I was it was in the other video, but I, I, I'll grab it for this one. Uh, Jeremiah chapter um, 14 two this is a classic one uh jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2 judah mourneth in the gates thereof language they are black unto the ground and the cry of jerusalem is gone up now when you look at this um it's not just talking about the skin color uh let me go into the to the blue letter for you all right, now we're gonna go straight to the point. It was let me go back so you can see it. But the word was uh, dark, I mean black. Okay, they are black unto the ground. The word is kadar, um, and we know that this means to mourn, be dark. So it's not just about skin color. We've used it for that for a long time, but our people are in mourning. Whether our people are are are, are doped up on different drugs and psychedelics and and whatever else pills or whatever else we still are in a state of mourning we look at it look at us look at the women of our nation we're in mourning though they partying up and twerking and doing all of that that's a sign of mourning we're not rejoicing okay we're not in a position you know look at the statistics man our, our nation is jacked up okay but we always like to use that in times past you know um about the skin color but i'm gonna I'm tie it in be black blackish make uh dark dark and heavy heavy heavily cause to mourn okay now from there all right i'm gonna go here to bring this to full light it says uh hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 for it is evident that our lord sprang out of judah 
of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So we know Yahweh Shai came out of Judah, right? <clears throat> now from there, real quick, I just hit Revelation and the description of Yahweh. I mean, it's like a Yahweh Shai. Um, first chapter, 14th verse. All right, it says his head, out of 13, it says, um, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. That's his outfit, what he looked like. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, woolly white head. Okay, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes were red. Okay, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if it they burned in a furnace. And this is always a debated uh, argument. But it, how can it be? How can it be? All right, let's see a blue letter saying. I'll even read this in the NLT. It's funny because they they say it this way. <laughs> Okay, verse 15, matter of fact, I read uh, 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. His eyes were like flames of fire. His feet were like polished bronze refined in a furnace. Okay, so bronze, which is already a brownish, goldish brownish color, as uh, refined in a furnace. So when you added that heat and that fire to it, it gets darker. And his voice thundered like the mighty ocean waves, okay, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Let's see what it says. As if it, uh, brass, go to brass first, fine brass. Yeah, write them. Uh, Chuck Oldbook, I will let him say it. Strong's G, 5474, Chalka Okay. Which says, um, some metal like gold, if not more precious. Okay. So what is referring to the color of it? All right. Let's go back out. Oops. <laughs> Burned. So we can see where we get that. If they burned, oops. G forty four forty eight pyru. Okay, which says to be burned with fire, to set on fire, kindle, to be burned, to to burn, to be incensed, indignant, to make glow full of fire, fiery and um. It melts it by fire, pairs of dross, showing you that it goes into the fire, right? See if we can pull anything else deeper out of it. Uh, uh, let's see here. And this is something you wouldn't imagine that they would want to come out. That's sexual desire. Um because don't get me wrong, man, we, we use this this uh, a lot of times, but a lot, of, a lot of times they do not want to put it, the understanding of this word in, in, in this Bible, uh, on this website, okay? But it should be pretty plain that what, what happens to brass or bronze once it's in the furnace, okay? It gets darker. Take out a brass key and take a lighter and, and burn it at the you know on a certain point in the key and watch what happens to it it's going to char and get dark clearly stated so showing you that the jews are of dark skin okay you period point blank right there all right but when you go back to esau it starts to talk about how uh he was red all over like in hairy garment man okay and the monikers are there it had to be a mystery but the monikers are there all right. They didn't. They never expected someone to have the platform. It's not that. Uh, it's not that anyone's afraid. They're afraid of us not being afraid anymore, mm -hmm. and we're not afraid 
anymore. They can't use all the tactics. I'm talking about my life was threatened to have a political opinion. You understand what I'm saying? To where? Yep. So I got man. Two precepts came to mind. First thing he said was um. This, I I get it right quick. Um, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Okay, and that's more so us, the prophets, those that are out there teaching. But when somebody in these times, somebody speaks truth against the system or the powers that be, this is what happens, man. They don't, they don't, they don't want to break the full deception they don't want all the people sobering up from the from the um, the wine that they've been pushing out. The 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 the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? All the lies. Pure point blank. It's the lies that they've been getting the people drunk with. Okay, the people been following these lies. Well, this is what I've been taught. This is what Jesus looks like. This is what the Jews look like. The Jewish people over there, and, uh, you know, and nobody challenges. Their lies, and when you do, they throw the anti-sim card out there, or they 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 blackball you, or they or they they cancel you, or whatever the case may be. Okay, and this man is is, is pushing out there that hey, and it's and it's beautiful because brothers have even considered both sides. What if he working for that side just to 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 bring dirt on the prophets? Because that's what it's gonna bring. It's gonna bring trouble for the prophets. But before I, I get too far ahead, I want to grab uh. All right, and this is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And see, Jake is not getting scared anymore. They're like, fuck it, I ain't got nothing to lose. We on the bottom anyway. And Ye is out there like, yeah, I got a lot of money. I got things to lose. But he seems to be in the fucking spirit, but we'll see. Because the prophets have been already had everything taken from them and understood that, that we could possibly lose everything. Okay, I mean everything, life, everything. No different. But for us, we've are we we're fully edified on, on, you know, and our faith hinges on everything that we believe, of of the of the positive that's gonna come. Okay, that the Yahweh by Shemir is gonna step in. The angels are gonna step in for us. Okay, lift up a standard for us. That there's people out there, that um. Even though they may try to try to um, you know torture you and kill you, you know and counsel you and put you in bed homeless and all these other things, that if we stick with this man, that the scriptures say, man, we are gonna be all right. Even if we're, we're martyrs, just like I was saying, there's some that are, are meant to be martyrs. But hey, even still, man, we that we stay stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, but we know all the the tricks that this man does, like death threats. You know, hey monkeys, get back out there! And they throw bananas at us and shit. You know, all kinds of situations that came. People come up there to debate us, to to provoke us, to get us to be angry and want to fight and and do all kinds of things. And yeah, all that's cool, all that's cool. But we know the tactics of these devils and what they'll use. They'll use whatever they got to to keep their secret going, to keep their power structure intact. But too late, man, it's crumbling. It's all falling down. All right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? To wear the wrong color hat is what they told me. Or wrong thing. Or, you know, the audacity as, as me, the audacity of me as a black man to have a White Lives Matter t-shirt. I've seen white people wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts. That's right. So that's some audacity, right? It seems pretty one-sided if you really think about it. So we just lean into it every day. I know God has a plan for us we we fight not in flesh and blood this is a spiritual warfare at this point beautiful and i'm gonna stop it there there's more to the article but i want to grab uh ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places Okay, he knows that these powers that be is what is what the problem is, man. Okay, they're they're out there to get him. He said he had to separate from corporations. Yeah, he was in a high position with a high platform, but now 
he got a lot to lose. And let's see if he can separate himself from that. Okay? So this is the thing that's going on now. Now, the part that, that he may not know is the part that's up above it. Verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay? And he needs that full armor. The things he's talking about shows that he don't have a full armor. The way he's putting it out there. He ain't putting the real name out there. He ain't calling him out, you know. And he's trimming his weight to some degree. Okay? To some degree. But we, we appreciate the platform because it gives us the opportunity to, to edify the people, man. To, to have a to have a to springboard off of his platform, if you will. But really, he's springboarding off of our platform. Because where did he get these ideas from? This wasn't in his head when he was in the studio and doing all these other things. This is something new that's come up. And some something or someone put a dream or a bug in his ear. All right, I'll leave it at that. The Heavenly Father, right? The Spirit, whatever. Puts a bug in his ear, and now he's paying attention to these ideas that they're not the real people. That the way that they're acting is like devils and not like the chosen children of the, of the Most High. All right, so... Um, I want to keep this short. Uh, I'm gonna stop. That was the chunk I want to get out of this video. Um, there might be another part of this coming in, but but either way, man, this is a beautiful thing, man. This this platform and this conversation is opened up. Okay, this conversation is opened up. Um, and and it has to be talked about. All right, and he keeps he keeps hinting on that on that conversation. You know, that he was a Jew also. Okay? So, yeah, man, this is beautiful times we're living in, man. Like Brother said, man, this movie is getting good. The Most High movie, this is the best movie you ever going to see, man. Lots of drama stirring up right now. Okay? Lots of drama, lots of action. Okay? And it's only going to get more action, and it's going to become a, a, a thriller, <laughs> an apocalyptic type movie. Before long, man, we, we're at the end of this thing. All right, so Lord willing, this was at a final. We'll give all praises and glories unto you. Matter of fact, before I go, I'm going to play another few seconds, and then uh, and then I'll close out. And if the Spirit have it, I'll, I'll, I'll read another precept or two. And if not, we'll close it out. Anything else you guys? God, yeah, for sure. yeah. Listen, man, God's on all of our side and your side, and you're the one that's going to be the catalyst to bring us forward, man. I'm telling you. Do you believe you that? Are you believe right there? Okay, springboarding off this guy, man. Okay, to show uh, this conversation has to be uh, opened up. All right, so I'm going to close it with all of that. So without further ado, giving all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harchakwadash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone and elder bishops of the Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and much love and blessings unto you, hopeful elect out there. Stay strong. Enjoy the movie, stay in the fight, keep building. To the next one, Shalom. Yeah.